The first 90 days of a Google Ads campaign are vital to its success. And in today's video, I wanted to break down essentially the three phases a Google Ads campaign goes through in its first 90 days and really put to rest the scary, intimidating part of Google Ads because a lot of people get into Google Ads and sometimes it does well in its first 30 days, 60 days, and sometimes it doesn't. And people are you know, constantly wondering, why is my campaign not doing as well as that campaign? Why isn't it doing this? Why? And they get confused, they get frustrated, frustrated and then they generally just cancel the account after a few weeks. That is not somewhere we want to be. We want to make sure our Google ads are profitable and we are having long-term success. So I'm going to break this down into three simple phases that everyone can follow along with. So to start off with phase one, phase one is generally going to be our data collection and structuring our account properly phase. This is going to take place generally from zero to 30 days of the account. We're going to be running a bid strategy called maximize clicks. I'll tell you in a second, but really what's important here is to structure our campaign properly have the correct settings and make sure our ad groups keywords and landing pages all line up that way we can have a high ad relevance high expected click-through rate and high landing page experience essentially right off the bat that's what we're gunning for it doesn't always happen but it does increase our chances of it happening if they're all lined up properly now I created an entire video of how to actually properly structure all of this you might want to check that out if you need help doing that it's a really extensive video and it's pretty helpful for a lot of people especially since the changes as of recently where we are now going into an intent-based ad group system as opposed to a theme-based ad group system. So there's a lot of stuff that we actually have to think about when we are structuring these campaigns properly now. Now, once we have structured our campaign properly, we have our extensions, we have all our conversion tracking set up, we have all of the ad groups, keywords, landing pages aligned, they all look good. We are now going to set the campaign to maximize clicks. The reason we want to do that is because maximize clicks is by far the best bidding strategy to collect data. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't care about clicks. I care about conversions and right. You are, I care about conversions, leads and sales too. The issue is Google's AI is really, really good at figuring out what people convert and what people don't convert. The issue is it's not that great if it doesn't have any relevant data. And if we don't let it have that relevant data right off the bat, it is very slow to actually go out and try and find that data. It seems to be very risk adverse at times. And normally it just takes a lot longer if you start a campaign off and maximize conversions than with maximize clicks. What maximize clicks does from a bid strategy standpoint is just go after clicks. It doesn't do anything else. It finds the most amount of clicks, which is great for us because we want that data. We want to know what converts and what doesn't convert as quickly as possible. And normally that number is right around 30 conversions. Once we have 30 conversions, we are then going to transition to phase two, which is using a AI bidding strategy, which could look like maximize ROIS. It could be maximize conversions. It could be, there's a lot of them. The main goal is we transition from a non AI bidding strategy to an AI one. The reason for this is we're going to get better results. But before I get more in depth into part two and phase two of this, I just want to go over what we should be doing in phase one when it comes to the optimization part of this. And if you haven't got it already, you might want to check out our Google ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and walks you through what to do on a weekly, monthly, three month basis. It also lets you jot down your results. So, you know, you're improving month over month. And in this phase of the campaign, what we're going to be doing is mainly search term analysis. You might be able to a B test a few ads here and there, but mainly search term analysis for the most part, what we're going to be looking for is removing as many irrelevant search terms as possible. This looks like going through our search terms report, finding which ones are not relevant to us and adding them as negatives. That's going to be the main optimization here. Is it going to take a lot of time? Yeah, but it will save us a ton of ad spend and allow us to reinvest in better keywords so we get better performance in the future. So something super important to do here. Are there other things you can do if you have enough data? Absolutely. Yes. But I would say this is by far the most important thing to do, at least during phase one. Phase two, once we get to that, we then transition to an automated bidding strategy. I recommend maximize conversions with a target CPA. This allows Google to actually set a number on how much we want to pay per acquisition or per action for every single lead we get or conversion or sale, whatever it is. Uh, this is just a really nice way of making sure we monitor and limit Google to say, hey, we don't want to get leads for $180. We want to get them for 50 or whatever it is. But we also want to make sure that we don't restrict Google's AI too much. So what I like to do is normally Google will suggest a target CPA and then I'll give it a little bit more room to run normally five to $10 over that. And then over the next coming months, we can slowly bring that down. Now, once we have this set, what do we do now? 
And what's going to happen is your account is going to go into what is called bid strategy learning. This is a status on your campaign, which is essentially Google's AI trying to figure out what to do. For the previous month, we've been running and maximize clicks and it's been getting a ton of clicks. Now we've transitioned to get as many conversions as possible. And Google's AI is now understanding that this is a completely different thing. And I need to test and figure out where to actually spend our money to get the best results to get the most conversions. And this is going to take about a week and your performance is normally going to dip over this period because Google's going to be experimenting experimenting and testing and there's no risk without reward. Sometimes you're just not going to see the results during this week that you want to. But once we get through this week, our results should gradually increase because we're going to be able to use Google's AI to figure out what customers are the best as opposed to using a manual CPC strategy or maximize click strategy. It's really going to allow us to go after customers that have high indicators of buying intent where Google's AI understands so much. It understands your demographic. It understands the audiences. It knows the time of days that you're more likely to convert. There's so much stuff it gathers that a normal human can't and it makes the best judgment on whether or not we should actually bid on this customer in this particular instance which is super amazing when it comes to actually getting a ton of conversions and leads and sales inside your account. And it normally takes anywhere from 30 to 60 days. We're just essentially giving Google's AI a little bit more room to run. And once learning mode is over, like I said, it's going to take about seven days. We're going to then continue optimizing the account and we're going to follow the Google ads optimization checklist or another checklist you may have. This could look like AB testing ads. It could be adding a few more ad groups, could be adding a few more keywords, it could be adding a few more uh, negatives, probably more negatives than uh, other ones. Also possibly testing landing pages at this point if we have enough relevant data. And then once we complete this phase, we're then going to go into phase three, which looks like just pure AI. There's no learning period in this and Google's AI is really going to start flourishing during the 60 to 90 day period because it has enough relevant data. It has a lot of the optimizations we've made to it already in place and we can continue to optimize it further manually through testing landing pages, for making new ad groups, for making sure we're getting rid of all the irrelevant search terms there. There's a lot of stuff we can do. And you're gonna see much better results in this phase than you normally see in phase one and two of the campaign, just because Google's AI has so much data to play with and it knows what to do and what not to do. And once we get to this point, you may say, well, we're good, we don't gotta do anything else. No, you still gotta continue optimizing. That's why I created the Google Ads Optimization Checklist. Like I said before, it's completely free and the link is down below. You need to continuously optimize this account. And the reason for that is Google Google's AI is always changing. Google's dashboard is always changing. There's always going to be new competitors and a keyword that may be working today may not be working a month from now. And there's a ton of reasons for that. And we always have to stay on top of this and we always have to make sure we are managing it and we are trying to implement the best strategies possible to get the best results for ourselves. Now that is how we look at the first 90 days of a Google ads campaign. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the first 90 days of your campaign or Google ads in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to but there's a lot of comments as of late, so I'm struggling, but you know, I do my best to try and respond as quickly as possible. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. I wish you all well. Take care.